Back in the city today, big developments in the bribery trial of the former head of AT&T in Illinois. This trial has a strong connection to what we could see when former House Speaker Mike Madigan's trial begins in a few weeks. Chad Vajahusky has the latest. Walking into court this morning in one of the final hearings for his upcoming case, once powerful House Speaker Mike Madigan knows he is at the center of a federal bullseye. With convictions in the ComEd for bribery case and of his top aide, Tim Mapes, the spotlight is now turning to the bribery trial for former AT&T Illinois executive Paul Laschiazza. The 66-year-old is accused in a scheme to pay more than $22,000 in return for Madigan shepherding through a bill that would save the company millions by ending a requirement that AT&T maintain land telephone lines as a carrier of last resort. In court today, FBI Special Agent Eileen McDermott testified about a series of emails between Madigan's son Andrew and the defendant about a $2,500 AT&T contribution to sponsor a charity event two weeks after the so-called Kohler bill passed. In one email, Askiaza wrote, we are on the friends and family plan now. But new Supreme Court rules could impact this case and Madigan's. Because of the new rules, Judge Gettleman had to remind the jury that it is not illegal for a public official to accept a thank you or a gratuity. For that gratuity to rise at the level of a bribe, he said, there has to be some kind of exchange in terms of legislation. Earlier in the trial, there was testimony about AT&T payments to former state representative Eddie Acevedo, a former Madigan ally who had retired from the state legislature to become a lobbyist. Asciazza's attorneys argued that by paying Acevedo, they were engaging in the kind of relationship building necessary in politics. The prosecution is expected to rest its case late today and the defense case is expected to be short, meaning closing arguments in the case against Paul Laschiazza could begin as early as tomorrow. At the Federal Building, Charlie Vojcha, Husky, NBC5 News. Our thanks to Charlie.